Hundreds of athletes made their way to Greenfield this morning for the city's annual triathlon. 22 News reporter Julia O'Keefe was there with all the sights and sounds of the big race. The city of Greenfield held its 40th annual triathlon Sunday morning. This triathlon is known as the longest running triathlon in New England and attracts athletes from all across North America. The race includes both the international long course and the sprint competitions. This year, athletes came from as far as California, Utah, Florida, Montreal, and Alaska to race right here in Franklin County. The race started at the Green River Recreation Area, went through the back roads of Greenfield, under the Eunice Williams Covered Bridge, and finished back at the recreation area. There's only one year with COVID. Unfortunately, we did have to take a little pause. So our 40th celebration got d delayed until this year. But 40 years to do the same sure race year after year is, is triumphant. However, this year's race went on with one change. Test Saturday revealed water in the Green River to be unsuitable for swimming. The race began with a short 0.3 mile run in place of the swimming portion. We're always disappointed if there's not a swim, but we don't end up with people in the hospital because of it. And so what we do is for to protect those people. But this hardly deterred athlete spirits. The Zerwas family of Shrewsbury competed in the sprint competition as a relay team and said they were happy to accomplish the race as a family. Yeah, I'm so excited. Dad's supposed to finish uh, his first lap anytime now, and then I'll go get ready for, for my run portion. Go Greenfield. <laughs> go Greenfield. Results are available on the Greenfield Triathlon website. Race committee members extended their congratulations to the athletes and thanked the volunteers involved. For now, as they say in Greenfield, to finish is to win. Working for you, Julia O'Keefe, 22 News.